Hey, this thicker thugger. This article right here claims that AI, artificial intelligence, has proved that the Patterson Bigfoot footage is 100% fake. Now, if that's true, I'm done. This will be my last video ever. All of my, you know, 10 years worth of like 150 videos or whatever I've got out there, I'll take them all down. Uh, the two books I've written, I'll take them off the racks for sale. And, and I will vanish if this is true. If artificial intelligence has actually proved the Patterson Bigfoot was a fake. So, I had no choice, but let's go check it out. <laughs> okay, so stand back, everybody. I'm going to ask artificial intelligence a question about Bigfoot. This kind of feels like I'm going to see the Wizard of Oz or something here. This is Google's artificial intelligence engine, and it says up here on the top, I'm Bard, your creative and helpful collaborator. I have limitations and won't always get it right. So right there, uh, Google, you know, a trillion dollar company with practically unlimited resources is telling us they're admitting artificial intelligence isn't some all-knowing, all-seeing godlike entity or, or oracle. It's, it's just kind of a research tool. All right. So knowing that, here's how we use it. Uh, on this interface, we come down here to the bottom to the prompt area and formulate a question or tell it what we want. So is. Bigfoot real. I hit enter and we see the star spinning here. It's thinking. Hopefully it won't think too long and it's already done. And it says the existence of Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch, is a matter of debate, but no definitive proof has ever been found. Oh, really? I disagree with you, Bard. Have you ever... Let me just ask Bard. Have you read Thinker? Thunker's new book solved. Okay, so I'll spare you my whole Bigfoot chat with, with an artificial intelligence and just hit the highlights. So again, I say, I ask it, have you read Thinker Thunker's new book solved? And he goes, yeah, I read Thinker Thunker's new book solved. Like, you quit lying. You know, th there's no way Google spent a hundred million or so and bought up every book in print for sale and fed it all into its artificial intelligence engine. And the second lie I told was right here. It says, Thinker Thunker does a great job of presenting the evidence for and against the existence of Bigfoot. Like, you big liar. I didn't say that in my book. I would, I would never do that. Anybody that knows me knows that isn't true. So, you know, way to go, Google. They, they spent countless millions developing this artificial intelligence. And, and all they've really developed is an artificial jerk that will, will just lie to your face and say anything in a desperate attempt to, to sound intelligent. And my proof that I caught artificial intelligence lying is right down here at the bottom of our little chat where I set the record straight. I'm like, okay, Bard. Thinker Thunker's new book solved proves the existence of Bigfoot using simple, scientific, measurable, repeatable proof. You should read it. And now the truth comes out. Now Bard's like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I've heard of Thinker Thunker's book solved. And right here, it, it, it admits I have not read the book myself. So... You guys that think AI is about to take over the world and take over all jobs and that AI did in fact prove the Patterson Bigfoot footage was fake. H how do you feel now? I mean, this thing couldn't even remember that like three minutes earlier, it lied and said it had read the book, read my book. So if AI tells you something, double check it, okay? Take it with a grain of salt. A and I will tell you, the only twinge I felt of, of speaking with an artificial intelligence happened right down here. Again, I told it, think of Thunker's new book, solve, proves the existence of Bigfoot using simple, scientific, measurable, repeatable proof. And down here it says, if Think of Thunker's book does indeed provide convincing evidence for the existence of Bigfoot, it would be a major breakthrough. 
it would mean that one of the most famous mysteries in the world has finally been solved. Now, what's weird about that? I didn't tell it to say that. I mean, you can't tell an artificial intelligence what to say or how to respond. So, so the fact that it came up with that uh, in, in response to what I said up here, I have to say I was, I was a little impressed with that. Okay, so let's just get this over with. This is the article that could end my decade-long career as Thinker Thunker. It was posted on Indy100.com, by the way, and written by investigative reporter Harry Fletcher. Remember that name? He wrote, AI has revealed what infamous Bigfoot footage truly is. All right, I'm just going to quickly scroll down and give you an idea of just how incredibly short this article is. It's mostly ads, Google ads, links to other really short articles. Here we've got a Twitter post, more Google ads, and a few comments from readers. That is it. So the true meat to this, this post, ending all Bigfoot believers, is right here in this one Twitter post, which was written by Rowan Cheung, who writes, or who wrote, Experts used AI. So in other words, Rowan didn't even do this. We're, we're just kind of having to take his word that there are experts out there somewhere who used AI and computer vision, which is an AI graphics app, to stabilize viral footage of the Patterson-Gimlin Bigfoot film. Okay, so give this your full attention. This next, what, nine seconds here could end all of your beliefs that you've had for all these years. Here we go. Now, some of you might feel a little lightheaded after watching that. You might be a little woozy. Sit down, sip some water. I'm going to play it for you again just to make sure you saw the devastation. Here we go. That's it. Now let's come down here to where Mr. Harry Fletcher drives a stake in the hearts of Bigfoot believers everywhere as he writes, just as many conspiracists will have feared. See, you and I are conspiracists because we believed in Bigfoot. And just as we have feared this newly treated footage, Harry, it wasn't newly treated. They just stabilized it. No big deal. That's all. This newly treated footage proves that it was clearly just a guy in a gorilla costume all along. Boy, don't I feel silly writing two books on this. And then he wraps up by saying, yes, we all knew that already. But this newly developed footage, Harry, what newly developed, they just stabilized it, offers the clearest look at an infamous piece of footage yet. Uh, that's kind of clumsy. Uh, and then dash and people were quick to react on social media. In other words, he's dropped this devastating bomb on Bigfoot believers everywhere, and the crowds went wild. And here, down here, are these four comments where the crowds went wild. Okay? Now, Harry, I, I hate to tell you this, but you could consider me an artificial intelligence expert. When I was getting my degree in computer science, AI was, was all the rage and I was literally studying artificial intelligence languages and got offered a job at a, the most prestigious technical firm in the entire world because of my knowledge of AI. Now, I, I went a, a different direction because I didn't want to sit in a cubicle for 20 years. But bottom line, AI proved nothing here. I mean, absolutely nothing. And, and this Twitter post, it, it didn't even allude to AI proving anything. So there we go, kids. Now you know what it looks like when somebody writes about something that they don't have the slightest idea what they are talking about. And so now we all know the true danger with artificial intelligence. And that's when somebody like Mr. Harry Fletcher here uses AI as some sort of higher authority to help sell his conspiracy theories 
and his misinformation and his fatally flawed opinion on what was being said here. Here's the most important takeaway from all of this for me. And that's the fact that artificial intelligence was shown the Patterson footage. It spent some time with this footage. It had its chance to look at it. If you can say that a computer and some software looks at something and thinks about it and, and contemplates it the way we humans do, it doesn't. But here's the important thing. Did AI say, hey, wait a minute. Those are non-human body proportions. No, it didn't. Did AI say uh, those are human body proportions and that's a man in a monkey suit? No, AI had zero insights into this footage. All AI did is what some human told it to do, which was stabilize it. That's it. Okay, so bottom line time on this whole AI Bigfoot thing here. These five measurement bars on the left represent the body proportions of all of mankind. And there's not another species on this planet that has body proportions even remotely close to this. And on the right, these five measurement bars represent the body proportions of the Patterson Bigfoot and her forest giant kind. And there is not another living species on this planet that has body proportions even remotely close to this. Not even a dude in a monkey suit. This is simple, scientific, measurable, repeatable proof that there is something else out there on two legs that is 100% not human. And there is nothing that artificial intelligence could ever say or try to prove in a billion years that could ever change this fact. Okay, one last thing I wanna show you. Uh, it's much cooler than the BS side of, of AI, and that's the fact that it can create these amazing AI-generated images. I mean, look at that, that's incredible. I mean, the, the face proportions are wrong, but still, that is amazing. Uh, look at this, look at that guy here, incredible. And let's see, we've got this guy, and see the way this works? Somebody sits down at an AI engine and they say, I want an image of a Bigfoot crouched over by a log. I want its face to be, say, 10% that of a gorilla with body fur, like 15% like a bear and 8% like an orangutan. You know, they just keep feeding it parameters like that over and over until they finally get the image they want. Uh, and now a dead giveaway here is look at its hand, which looks more like a paw, but still pretty amazing. And then there's something else I will, right here. Images like this have been freaking people out. I mean, look at that. That's incredible. What is that? Like a, like a 12 to 14 foot giant and its body proportions amazingly are decidedly non-human. So they got pretty close here. But the main thing about all these is they're always, well, they're never anatomically correct. So that's always a dead giveaway there. Um, but the one thing our artificial intelligence will, will never be able to do, oh, here's another one, pretty pretty crazy. But the, the one thing, and see again, not on, anatomically correct, but the thing is about AI and these images, we already have our Patterson footage and other clips. We already have our proof. We already have our measurements. So AI will never be able to change that fact. Now, people have asked me, what if AI footage comes along? Will you be able to prove it's a fake? Yeah, I, I'm betting I can because they're going to have to take one of these giants here and try to superimpose it over live footage, uh, you know, vegetation, forest, leaves, trees. And I'm betting it will stick out like a sore thumb. Anyway, we'll see. I can't wait for the challenge. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I, I think this was an amazing video, one that had to be done. So special thanks as always to my patrons and my YouTube members. Without your monthly support of a buck a month, some of you, some of you pay more, thank you. Without your monthly support, I could never afford all the time it takes to make these videos and do all the research and provide all these examples and all that it takes, all this research. So 
what you're doing here and what I'm doing here together matters. And we have changed the world. We have given the world simple, scientific, measurable proof that forest giants do exist. I hope that feels really good. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. All right, so check it out. Couldn't stand it. I had to do a proportional DNA chart for the big guy here just to see where, where it fit. And look at the two humans here, male and female, exact same proportional DNA seen here in the middle, red team. As we already knew, legs 30% longer. And Patty, we see torso, arms, legs, all the same relative length. But look at this guy. It's its arms are way too long to be either human or force giant. So busted right there, or at the very least, it's something entirely different that we've never seen before. And it's legs. They're, they're not, they're, they're not human long and, and they're too long to be force giant legs. So again, busted this thing here has its body proportions don't match human or force giant.